Roman Reigns has broken his silence about the bloodline chaos on SmackDown. And who exactly is the tribal chief? Is it Roman still? Or is it Solo Sokoa or The Rock? In today's video, we'll get to brand new details on everything Roman Reigns and the bloodline, as there are many new updates. Roman Reigns has had a very upsetting and stressful week. He already had to deal with losing his title, and now he has to deal with the possible implosion of the bloodline. And the question is, is it all over? Or will Roman Reigns have to acknowledge the new tribal chief, Solo Sokoa? Many wondered if Roman Reigns would make an appearance on the SmackDown after WrestleMania 40. Well, Roman Reigns did not appear on the show. However, Paul Heyman made it clear he was given strict orders about what to do and what to say on SmackDown. Paul Heyman said, while in the ring with Solo and Jimmy Uso, that there were consequences to losing. And that is when Solo stopped Paul Heyman and said, yes, there are consequences and maybe a change needs to be made. As Solo made his way to his brother, Jimmy Uso, Jimmy was attacked by a hooded man, somebody who we had not seen in WWE ever before, Tama Tonga, a relative of Roman Reigns and the son of Haku. Paul Heyman had a look of fear on his face throughout the beatdown possibly because Roman Reigns did not order the beatdown. But things got even worse. Paul Heyman was checking on Jimmy Uso in the doctor's area when he was confronted by Tama Tonga and told him that the beatdown was ordered by the tribal chief. And Paul Heyman had a look of shock and confusion. And he said, no, the tribal chief didn't order this attack on Jimmy. But then... So Sokoa appeared and got into Paul Heyman's face. And now many are wondering if this all meant that Solo Sokoa is the new tribal chief. And if that is so, what does it all mean for Roman Reigns? Could it be that they're doing this because Roman's time in WWE is over? Or is this all a setup for Roman's return? Well, Roman Reigns has broken his silence about what happened on SmackDown with the Bloodline. After SmackDown went off the air, footage made its way online of something you didn't see from SmackDown. After Solo and Tamatanga basically staged a coup in the ring and took out Jimmy Uso, cameras were backstage as they made their way out of the arena. You can see here Paul Heyman basically holding his chest, possibly experiencing chest pains by going through a chaotic and stressful situation out in the ring caused by Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga. So Paul Heyman did not look well. And right behind him were Solo Sokoa, who had a look of determination. Determination possibly to push Roman Reigns out as the tribal chief and head of the table. Jimmy Uso was left laying in the ring. Doctors had to attend to him because of how brutal the beatdown was. And Jimmy Uso's wife, Naomi, said the following after the unprovoked attack on her husband, Jimmy Uso. Smackdown had me so stressed tonight from the family drama and tiffy mess. I must stay focused for next week. So let's break this all down, and then we'll get to Roman breaking his silence about this disturbing situation that we witnessed on SmackDown. So a lot was said by Paul Heyman, by Solo, but many were left confused. They didn't know exactly what it meant. And there's a lot of theories floating around online about what everything did mean. So the first question is, is Roman gone from WWE? He didn't appear on SmackDown, but at the same time, Paul Heyman did say he had orders from Roman Reigns to do certain things, say certain things. So by all accounts, 
Roman is still in WWE, but when will he return? That's the question, and will he return? And then the next thing, is the bloodline even still together? Or did it break up on SmackDown? You know, Solo and Tamatanga are going to go do their own thing, and then Jimmy Uso has to decide what he's going to do. And then we have Roman, who's at home right now, and Paul Heyman's kind of trapped in the middle. Well, from everything that we have heard, it seems like Solo Sokoa, when he said that there are consequences to losing and a change needs to be made, what he meant by that was Roman needs to step aside and I am now going to become the new tribal chief and I will be the head of the table. So in the eyes of Solo and the eyes of Tamatanga, Solo Sokoa is the tribal chief. But what does Roman Reigns think about that? Well, seemingly, Roman Reigns has broken his silence. We all witnessed Paul Heyman holding his phone throughout SmackDown, talking about how he is in contact with Roman, how he has orders to say this, do this. Solo obviously didn't like any of it, but Paul Heyman said he had strict orders from Roman. So it's not like Roman has given up on WWE or he's retiring or he's been fired or he's quitting, it seems like Roman is still under contract with WWE. And in some ways, Roman Reigns tried to break his silence through Paul Heyman, but Solo stopped him. Heyman had his phone ready to say, call Roman Reigns, and Solo put a stop to that because he didn't want to hear from the old tribal chief because Solo is a tribal chief now, and it seems like Roman actually broke his silence about what happened on SmackDown days ago, and we didn't even know about it. Now, you might remember the post that Roman Reigns made on social media, and he was walking on a treadmill, and he wrote out a couple lines of text. Something that Roman might have been telling us, but we didn't catch it the first time. But after watching SmackDown, maybe now we get it. Maybe he was telling us something. So on Twitter, or X, Roman, in that post where he's walking on the treadmill, he said, yesterday I mourned. But then on Instagram, he said, yesterday we mourned. Was this a secret message from Roman telling us that a coup was about to be staged by Solo Sokoa. And that's why one post said we, and the other post said I. Roman was trying to warn us. What are your thoughts about the Bloodline shakeup on SmackDown? Leave a comment and give me your opinion.